eat all Darwin. If not now, when? If not me, who? The expression of emotions in men and animals. Actions which were at first voluntary soon became habitual and at last hereditary. What? Actions which were at first voluntary soon became habitual and at last Isabella, huh? haven't huh? you noticed as an actress that audiences all over the world understand certain expressions like smiling and crying, but not certain others, like, like your Italian gestures? Charles Darwin. No, I did not notice. Ah. You express negation by shaking your head laterally, which is common all over the world. Curious, no? Hmm. All over the world? Yes. Nodding your head vertically is an expression of affirmation. But not everywhere. Hmm. My hypothesis is that basic expressions are also shaped by evolution. I wrote to my friends in different countries throughout the world to confirm the commonalities of certain expressions. Are these the letters? Oh, yes, look, from China, and, and Spain, and India, and Kenya, and, and Papua New Guinea. <laughs> would, would you, would you like to read some of my query? Yes. Is the head nodded vertically in affirmation and shakes in negation? Is laughter ever carried to such an extreme as to bring tears into the eyes? Do children will sulky pout or greatly protrude the lips? Mm. <laughs> you wrote to the friends all over the world to see if they were the same expressions all ah, over the ah, world. You, you raised your arm with an open hand in a general sign of wonderment. That gesture is innate. Innate? What do you mean by innate? Well, you didn't learn it. You were born knowing it. It is performed by people all over the world, even young children, even by people born blind. Now, monkeys and apes don't express wonderment in this way. Therefore, this expression must have originated after we branched off from them. Can you explain it to me a little bit better? Certainly. After our progenitors acquired the oh, 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 upright position, they suddenly had two hands free and learned how to fight with fists. And, 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 and with clubs, <laughs> which is where this menacing gesture came from. <laughs> but are you making me laugh with your transgressions? <laughs> and look, laughter, laughter, now that is far more older. Oh, yeah. it, it was practiced by our progenitors even before they deserved to be called human. Now, every monkey and ape utter a... A, re a reiterated sound analogous to laughter. Therefore, this expression must have begun by our common ancestor that we have with them. I saw through the commonality of these expressions 
that we humans all share a common origin. Well, everybody knows that. No. No. In my time, we had slavery. And people tried to justify it with science. They argued that Africans were a different species than us whites, that they had a different origin, that their species was inferior and therefore needed to be guided and dominated. But when I looked and saw the commonalities of expressions in all humans, I saw a clear sign of our common origins. I became an abolitionist. All men are equal, but all men share a common ancestor with the apes. <laughs> you must have made a lot of enemies, Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> But why do we need expressions? I mean, can't we just say what we feel? I mean, after all, we have language. Well, the movement of expressions in the face and body is of much importance to our welfare. The first signs of communication are between a mother and her infant. She smiles approval. She frowns disapproval. These expressions give vividness and energy to our language. They reveal our intentions and thoughts more truly than words. That is true. Hmm. Darwin, I love talking to you and to your expressions. <laughs> I miss talking to people. We are in isolation due to this virus. I miss human beings. I was a human being. Now I'm a has-been, a ghost. The science has yet to find the evidence that spirits exist. Yeah.